What's up guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. This time we are having a PU tier match using the same team as last video because last video was basically a Lilligan sweep and I know you guys prefer the battles to be a little bit closer than that but uh, anyway we're having a battle against Jay I'm assuming that's how you pronounce your name uh, from Discord. If you guys would like to battle me hit me up on Twitter, Facebook or Discord. Links as always are in the description below. So you guys know my team from last video. My opponent is using the Semi-Seer, Alolan Raichu, Cradley, Granbull, Walrein, and Kamala. So, definitely a more bulky team. Um, and uh, that definitely made the battle just a little bit closer because some of his mons were kind of hard to deal with a little bit just because they're more bulky. And uh, he has the Intimidate on Granbull and stuff like that. But anyway, this battle was pretty fun, guys. I hope you'll enjoy. So the battle begins, I'm going to lead off with Fleshlight the Electros as my opponent is going to lead off with his Semi-Seer. So this is okay for me, I do have a max HP, max special defense with Coil. Um, basically the idea of this set is to get some Coils up which also raises my accuracy because I also have the Zap Cannon. And what Zap Cannon does is it's 50% accurate but it paralyzes 100% of the time. So. Um, that's kind of the idea behind this set. It's actually a mixed Electra, so my opponent's going to be over there thinking some nasty thoughts. I'm going to go for a Coil. My opponent on this turn is going to go for a plus two Flamethrower. It's actually going to do a dick load of damage. Thank God it didn't kill me thanks to my max HP and max special defense investment. I'm going to go for a Drain Punch here, and I was honestly thinking that it would do a little bit more, because I know these Elemental Monkeys, they're, they're pretty paper frail, honestly. <laughs> Um, but it actually does a little bit less than I would have liked. Um, but that's okay because honestly, I don't think I really need my Electros too much in this battle. So he's going to be able to kill me off with another flamethrower here. So kind of sucks, but like I said, I don't really think I need my Electros too much this battle. So it's kind of whatever. So here I'm going to bring out Spoiled Bacon and arguably I could have done this earlier and uh, saved my Electros because I do have the Thick Fat on spoiled bacon here but it's whatever <laughs> hindsight's 2020 and uh here i'm just gonna go for the psychic because it would have killed his semi seer but he actually decides to bring out the cradily and uh my opponent makes a really weird play here i think he swaps back out into his semi seer for some reason um and i was actually kind of tempted to go for the uh thunder wave here but i actually decided to go for the whirlwind there and uh yeah, for some reason he brings out Semi-Seer and just gets Whirlwinded back out, and uh, I believe it brings out his Kamala here. Yeah, so Kamala is kind of an asshole. <laughs> this thing is uh, relatively bulky on the special side, not so much the physical side, but unfortunately I actually don't have Hitmonchan on this team for once. And uh, yeah, Hitmonchan loved to eat Kamala for breakfast. But anyway, I'm going to bring out Pyloswine here as my opponent is going to kind of... I don't know. Why do you go for Wish? I don't understand that. I guess maybe he was thinking... He could bring back out Simi here and catch a wish or something, but I'm going to bring out Donald here, the pile of swine, so he's not going to be able to bring out the Simi here. I'm actually going to take this opportunity to set up some rocks. Kind of thought he would swap out, but he didn't. Uh, he went for the play rough there for some reason, and it doesn't do much because it's not stab or anything. And then for whatever reason, he stays in again and goes for the rapid spin, and uh, this earthquake is going to hurt. <laughs> um, I'm like adamant, like max attack, so this thing's definitely going to hurt. And uh, Kamala is not looking too hot over there, so he's actually going to go for another play rough here. He's not doing much damage to me. I don't know why my opponent <laughs> let me take out his Kamala. That's his Rapid Spinner, but hell, I'll take it. <laughs> um, so now that his Rapid Spinner is gone, if there's like some chance of me getting rocks back up this battle, um, they're basically there to stay. But unfortunately, spoiler alert, he's going to bring out the uh, Simi Seer once again. And for whatever reason, I thought with Eevee Light plus Thick Fat, I might be able to live this uh, Flamethrower. Unfortunately for me, that is not the case. You know, Piloswine has lived a lot of hits that I didn't expect, so that's kind of why I stayed in there. Um, but yeah, unfortunately he's going to be able to kill me off here. So now, <laughs> I bring out the star of this video here, Kmart Moltres, the Oricorio, and uh, my opponent's going to swap out there. I predicted the swap. I go for the substitute because I kind of felt like he would possibly bring out Cradily, um, just because he knows that Cradily is pretty damn bulky. And uh, also he has the Toxic. So I didn't want to be Toxic, so I'm pretty safe behind the sub here. And for whatever reason, my opponent doesn't swap out. Um, I don't know what my opponent was thinking here, but uh, I basically get a free Calm Mind, because what the hell is this Cray Dilly going to do to me? Like, he has nothing to do to me. He can't, 
He can't phase me out. Um, yeah, so I don't know what my opponent was thinking there, but he's going to set up his uh, stealth cocks of his own here. And I really don't understand that at all. Basically, <laughs> Cray Dilly is... Honestly, when I'm behind a sub, it's basically set up fodder. <laughs> um, unless it was like one of those rare rock slide Cray Dillies or whatever, which you see from time to time. Most of them only have one attack, and it's usually Giga Drain. But anyway... This one obviously does not have the rock slide, so he's going to swap out here. I'm at plus two. He brings out his Raichu, and uh, my uh, Oricorio here is like, I ain't going to write you a love song. So I'm going to actually go for a Calm Mind again here, and uh, I'm safe behind a sub. And actually, what's weird is I somehow outspeed his Raichu on this next play. I don't know how. I, I'm pretty sure Raichu has a higher base speed than Oricorio. I might be wrong on that, but um, yeah, apparently I outspeed. I go for the Revelation Dance, expecting it to kill, but, you know, this is the second Alolan Raichu with a Focus Sash I've run across. I, for some reason, I always, I always assume they're either Choice Specs, uh, Electrium Z, or Raichun Raichunium Z, or something like that, or Life Orb, but apparently, some people, li some people really love to run Focus Sash, Alolan Raichu, and it fucks me up every time. <laughs> so he's going to be able to break my sub with uh, T-Bolt or whatever, but because we saw that I outspeed him, I'm actually just going to go for another Revelation Dance and kill him, so honestly, not too bad, <laughs> um, but it just kind of sucks that he broke my sub, or was able to break my sub because of the Focus Sash. So now my opponent is going to bring out the Wall Rain here, and I kind of figured at plus two, um, I should be able to take a Water Attack from Wall Rain. Wall Rain does not have the greatest special uh, attack in the world. He actually goes for the Surf as I go for a Hurricane. Thank God I didn't miss. God, in team testing, like on Showdown, Oricorio missed so many fucking Hurricanes. And it was it was really disheartening because I really wanted to see Oricorio like shine like it does in this battle. So I'm actually going to go for a second Hurricane here as I actually land it as well. So that's kind of crazy. Um, my luck is finally returning apparently. So that's going to kill off the Wall Rain. So next, my opponent is going to bring out Red Chew, which is the it is the Grand Bull. So I don't know why it's called Red Chew. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Um, so here, I'm just going to go for a third Hurricane. And oh my god, guys, I actually landed three Hurricanes in a row. Holy shit. And uh, that is going to be able to kill off the Grand Bull. So next, my opponent, I believe, brings out the Semi Seer, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let's see here. Yeah, that's the semi seer. So, okay, here is a really weird thing that happened in this battle. So, apparently he outspeeds me, goes for the flamethrower. Keep in mind, guys, I'm at plus two special defense, but he gets a cr oh, never mind, he got a crit. Okay, when I saw that in battle, I didn't see the crit, and it confused the hell out of me how he killed me there. So, that crit definitely mattered. Oricorio was about to sweep this man's team, but um, yeah, okay. I did not see that crit when that battle was happening. I guess I wasn't paying attention, but I was like, how the fuck did he kill me? <laughs> but um, anyway, here, I'm just going to go for the Psychic as he brings out his Cray Dilly. Um, for whatever reason, he is really wanting to save that semi here in the back. Though, honestly, my uh, Spoiled Bacon walls that thing to the end of time. <laughs> so here, I think I swap out, and I think I go... Who do I go out into? I think I bring out the... Skunk? Oh no, I go for the uh, I go for the T wave. Sorry, uh, I think soon I bring out Skuntank though. If it's not dead, I can't remember. Um, so here he's actually going to toxic me. I do have the uh, heal bell on this Grumpig, but honestly, at this point in the battle, it's it's not even worth going for. Um, I think I just bring out Skuntank, and my idea here is to basically I know Cradily has recover. Obviously, that's what all all Cradily have. Um, my idea here was to bring out Skuntank, try to get this thing as low as possible to when he actually kills my Skuntank, um, I can just bring out the uh, Lilligant and kill off this Cradily and then kill off his Semi Seer. That was my idea. Um, so here I'm just going to bring out Skuntank as he goes for the Giga Drain and obviously being a Poison type, he is not able to go for the Toxic on me. And here I'm just basically going to be spamming the hell out of uh, Poison Jab here. This part of the battle is um, it's pretty pretty long and stally, so I'm probably going to speed this part up. But basically, 
I'm just gonna go for a couple poison jabs. Poison jab actually does a decent amount of damage. <laughs> Not gonna lie, but of course he has recover and shit, but yeah. Alright, so here I decided plan B. I was gonna swap out into my Lilligan because I know that Cradilly really can't touch me. The worst he could do is toxic me, but he is paralyzed as you see here. He gets fully paralyzed and um, so I was thinking if I set up to like plus six special attack, <laughs> I can go for the Psychinium Z Shattered Psyche on that Cradilly and kill the bastard. So um, I actually go ahead and go for a Quiver Dance here. Obviously I couldn't Sleep Powder him because he was a Grass type, but my opponent actually is going to swap out into the semi seer for some reason and uh because of the quiver dance i now outspeed him for sure and uh, i'm just gonna go for the giga drain here and because his health is so damn low and because this thing's frail as hell i'm actually able to kill him so my opponent's last mon is this cradily and uh another really stally point in this battle i'm probably gonna speed up in post um but basically the idea that i was going for is i'm just gonna sit here and try to set up all day long with quiver dance so i believe this is my second quiver dance and um, yeah, so I'm gonna set up to plus six and uh, eventually I know he does toxic me, but honestly this late in the battle, toxic is not gonna matter whatsoever. And uh, I essentially set up to plus six with Quiver Dance and uh, go for the Shattered Psyche and that is pretty much the game. So good game to my opponent Jay or whatever your name is. Sorry if I butchered that, <laughs> but um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this team. I love this team, it's so good, but Anyway, that's the end of the battle, guys. I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys. Peace out.